Shri Ravi 
Drama play should start immediately. Just before we start the play, I'd like to say, we'd like to welcome all the devotees from all over the world. They've come from South America, Mexico, all over the United States, all over Europe, Russia, and we've assembled for one reason, and that is to celebrate the appearance of our beloved Guru Day. Can I get a Jai Guru Day? Can I, can, can I get a Jai Guru Day? This is the most blessed event. Without this day, where would we be? This morning, Prabhu's Chamarani gave a beautiful class, followed by Damodar's class. Tomorrow, Pujapad, Madhya Maharaj will be giving a class at 7 a.m. and he will have a very special message from Gurudev. We want all to come. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. No, they need to be here at 7. You'll be here for them. All right, I need to go. Loka Vrindavan, where the Supreme Personality of Godhead, in his original threefold bending form of Krishna, or Shamsundar, eternally engages in loving pastimes with his most intimate devotees. Krishna also presides over the Vaikuntha planets, but not in his original form. He expands himself into his four-armed form, known as Narayan or Vishnu. Thus, he presides over all the Vaikuntha planets. Once, on one of these blissful Vaikuntha planets, two gatekeepers of Lord Narayan, known as Jai and Vijay, were pondering how they could better serve the Lord. Yourselves properly by the forms of austerities. 
Oh, son of Kasyapamuni, please get up. I have been so much astonished to see your endurance in spite of being bitten and eaten by so many worms and ants. Your life air is circulating within your bones. Certainly this is so wonderful. Now even saintly persons like Prigu, who were born previously, they could not perform such severe austerities. Who within the three worlds could perform such austerities? Who could sustain their life uh, hundreds of years without even drinking water? Your austerities, your performance of austerities have now become perfect. My dear Rani Kashibu, Please get up, you may now ask from me any benediction. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, original personality within this universe, Lord Brahma. You are fully cognizant and can apply your mind and realized intelligence in the creation of this cosmic manifestation. You are beginningless, endless, omniscient, and beyond the limits of space and time. O oh my Lord, O oh best of the givers of benedictions, if you would kindly grant me the benediction that I desire, then let me not meet death from any of the living entities created by you. Granted. <sighs> then grant me this, that I may not be killed on the ground or in the sky. That's all right. Then grant me this, that I may not be killed during the day or during the night. Oh, I can fly. Then grant me this, that I may not be killed inside 
or outside. Of course, that's all right. Then grant me this, that I may not be killed by a man or beast. That's all right. And grant me this, that I may not be killed by any weapon. Of course, that's all right. And grant me this, I want sole dominion over all living entities and their presiding deities. And I want all the glories that come from this position. Furthermore, I want all mystic powers, for these cannot be lost at any time. Oh, Hiranya Kashiku, these benedictions that you ask for are impossible to be had by most every man. My dear son, Hiranya Kashiku, right now, you will be the one. I'm going to grant you your wounds. I'm going to fulfill your wish right now. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now I'm immortal. I'm immortal. Death, close your portal. For I free. I, Hiranya Kashi. And now, everyone, worship me. <laughs> Chase lady, you must come to my ashram. There you will be protected, and you can remain there until the return of your husband. Although was 
was not an Asura, but a great devotee of Lord Vishnu. Unlike the other Asuras, he was never envious of Vaishnavas. He was not agitated when put into danger, and he was neither directly nor indirectly interested in the fruitive activities described in the Vedas. Indeed, he considered everything material to be useless, and therefore he was completely devoid of material desires. son. So I want the best for you. Yes, yes, my son. Someday you will inherit all of my wealth and power, which is unmatched in this entire universe. So I want that you should get the best education and learn the art of acquiring huge quantities of gold. And what to speak of that Lustful art of attracting the most beautiful women? <laughs> well, perhaps you are too young for such talk. But he, Prahlad, you will be successful, just like your father, Hiranya Kashipu. So come, my son, sit on my lap, and tell me what you are learning in school. All oh, that's of the Asuras, as far as I have heard from my spiritual master, anyone who has accepted a material body, anyone who has accepted a material body, has fallen into the dark well, where there is no water but only suffering. One should give up all his material possessions and take up shelter at the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. What? What? Thus is the intelligence of a child that has been spoiled by the words of the enemy. Sunda! Come on, come! <laughs> Take this boy to the Gurukula, where he is educated see that he has complete protection so that he may not be further influenced by Vaishnavas who may go there in disguise and spoil his intelligence. You understand? Yes, my lord. Go. Come, my lord. Bring me a stick, somebody! 
He's spoiling our name and fame. He's polluted intelligence. He's like a cinder in the dynasty of demons. He's like a thorn bush in a forest of sandalwood. We must teach him the real principles of religion, economic development,
they took the lad into a circle of demons, wild cannibal, relishing human flesh. But Prahlad remained fearless, chanting Hare Krishna, and the demons had no power to eat him.
Krishna, and it became Prashad, and as pure as the bowl, free from all poisonous effects. I have tried everything to destroy this boy, and he has resisted all of my attempts. He is certainly very powerful. And because of my enmity toward him, I shall certainly die. Oh, Hiranya Kashipu, you are the greatest of the demons. Just with the slightest movement of your eyebrows, all the commanders of the various planets are afraid of you. Without any assistance from anybody, you have conquered all the three worlds. Therefore, I don't see any reason for you to be unhappy or remorse. Pilar, Pilar is just a small boy. Let us take him back to our school, and then we will purify his intelligence. Yes, I will give you one more. Job. And for your work, you want some recognition. 
You spend all your time, and before you know it, you're in a feeble condition. Oh, Prahlad, let us pray. We'll take our Krishna consciousness some other day. My dear atheistic friends, now that we are still young and happy, now is the time to take Krishna consciousness. We must start now, or we will never escape this material entanglement. And it's so easy. Just by chanting Krishna's names, we will become purified. Chant after me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Thank <laughs> you. 
My dear Prahlad, most gentle one, all good fortune unto you. I am very much pleased with you. It is my pastime to fulfill the desire of the living beings. Therefore, you may ask me any benediction you desire. My dear Prahlad, you may live a long time and accept all benedictions for the material happiness. My dear Lord, kindly do not tempt me with these illusions. One who desires material benefit in exchange for devotional service cannot be your pure devotee. If you at all want to grant me a benediction, then I wish that you will take all material desires from the core of my heart and that you will excuse my sinful father. O oh, gentle one, my beloved, may all of your fathers, may all of your desires for my service be granted. Your father, Hiranyakashipu, he is a great devotee, and he has already been liberated. I bless you that in 21 generations of your families, both before and after you, will all be liberated. Sing a
something that Guru Dave has been wanting to see produced and we just got them in. It's called Songs of Our Holy Masters and it is entirely in English. Mangala and her whole family worked many, many nights tirelessly putting this CD together for the devotees during this festival. They just came today and they're right over here to my left so please there's only 200 copies. I think there's 700 devotees here, so uh, see if you can get them. Also, they have t-shirts, and all of the t-shirts, of course, go to help with Gore Sundar. Gore Sundar is also on the CD, so please check both things out, the CD and the t-shirts. And we have one more announcement from Srila. He'll tell you what he has to tell you in just a moment. I just want to uh, thank everyone again for coming to this 2007 Sri Vyas Puja Festival of Sri Guru Dev. This is the fifth annual festival here in Hawaii. And I'm sure everyone is beginning to appreciate it more and more with the plays, with Guru Dev's very invigorating, powerful Harikata, uh, the edifying lectures given also by the senior disciples and sannyasis. Uh, the very spacious, beautiful facility we have here, the gorgeous worship, the tasty prasadam. And as you're feeling appreciative, you can show your gratitude in a very small way by paying your festival fee. Because first of all, your presence here, this festival will not go on, but also your help is required. And so I pay my festival fee, your festival fee will help.